Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kim and this is me, Kids. Today we're going to talk about some of the plugins that I use and I think that are pretty essential in your design process. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, and check all of my videos. In my previous video, I talked about some uh, Figma tips that are really useful in your design and other stuff. So make sure you go and check them out. Let's get right into the video, shall we? So I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with Lorem Ipsum and profile pictures. So I'm going to talk about the stuff that I see less on the internet. And well, I think they are useful and uh, you can really use them. So the first thing is actually remove BG. Remove BG is a plugin that you can use uh, for removing your backgrounds. But if your uh, well, uh, picture's resolution is really high, it can get a little bit uh, low quality uh, so there are websites that you can use instead of this but if you want something quick uh, and uh, really in hand uh, remove bg is actually a good plugin the next thing that i'm going to tell you about is content wheel so content wheel actually will help you generating content profile pictures icons and if you see something missing you can actually add to it and really grow the plugin so i think it's a really useful and really good plugin uh, and well, it can really speed up your designs. The other plugin that I'm going to talk about today is a Stark. Stark is actually a really good plugin to rise your product's accessibility and check the contrast and really uh, work with the colors and everything for people who are colorblind and uh, things like that. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is a strings. A strings is actually like Grammarly, but for Figma. Uh, so you really have multiple word choices, phrase choices, and really can boost up your design and concepts and really help you as a team. Now let's uh, talk about some of the plugins that are really helpful in your UI design mostly. The first thing that I want to talk about is actually Blobs. Blobs, funny name, uh, is a plugin that generates, uh, well, uh, multiple shapes that you can use in your design uh, and really create multiple shapes and each of them are unique uh, and you can really boost up your visual design uh, and it's really fun working with. So as long as we're talking about the bees, let's not forget Blush. Blush is a really fun using plat fun using plugin uh, that helps you generate illustrations and customize them. It's really easy to use and it has a pro plan that you can really edit them and uh, create shapes and illustrations that you want uh, really fast. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is mesh gradients. Uh, so lately I've been seeing a lot of creative gradients that I really couldn't create with uh, Figma's gradient, radial or li linear, and it was really hard for me. And I discovered this plugin. Uh, it helps you create really uh, unique and beautiful uh, gradients. And it actually has a randomized collection and can give you really good ideas of the colors and everything that you want to use in your design. Some other plugin that was really useful in my design was Arc. Uh, so I'm sure you've seen these uh, texts that are uh, in a circle and created them in uh, Arabic. C. It was really easy, but I couldn't really figure out a way to create them in Figma until I found this plugin. Uh, it's a really useful one and uh, it has a really uh, easy way of using. Another plugin is uh, Vectory 3D Elements. So I use this plugin actually a lot uh, because it's really helpful. It has multiple shapes and, and uh, well, things that you can use in your designs and you can really change the color, uh, change the uh, well, lighting, and it's really good for creating 3D mockups. So another plugin that is actually really good for creating isometric shapes uh, from your own design is Skewdat. Uh, so Skewdat helps you uh, to well uh, skew every uh, object that you want uh, and well use it uh, in that uh, position. Uh, and another plugin that is really useful is Chart. Chart helps you to create random or with re uh, real information charts in multiple shapes and is a really good plugin. Uh, if you're trying to create realistic charts and there are other plugins like uh, smooth shadows uh, and uh, fig 3d 
Neomorphism, Noise, and A Selector, and other plugins. I'm gonna put a list of all the plugins that I have right here. Uh, these are all the plugins that I use and I keep them updated. I always search uh, to see if the new plugins are up and you can, uh, well, use them during your designs to uh, well, speed it up and take it up a notch. Uh, so, yeah. This is pretty much it for the plugin parts. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, so if you know a plugin that is really helpful for you in your design process, make sure to uh, write it in the comments so everybody can use it. Share this video with your friends. Give me your ideas as always. Uh, and if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Turn on the notifications. I post every Monday. And maybe we have something really exciting for next week. Who knows? If you haven't uh, followed me on Instagram, I'm gonna put my Instagram link down in the descriptions. Also, I have a Telegram channel that I post my uh, dribble shots and YouTube videos links uh, so you guys can have easy access to it. And that is again in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you next week. Goodbye. And is a really good plugin if you want to